Good morning, guys. It is November 30th, 9 o'clock a.m. right now. My goal today is to get up to Boone, North Carolina, so I'm pretty much going to shoot straight up there. I'm going to make one stop in Damascus. Obviously, there will probably be a couple more stops along the way. The very first thing we're going to do this morning is go down and see how Jed and Stacy are doing. If you don't know Jed and Stacy's situation, they were in a few videos back. They've been homeless since the flood. They were supposed to get a camper yesterday, I think. Someone had donated a camper. Something didn't work out with that, so they're stuck down here still, sleeping in tents. I'm sure they're freezing their butts off right now. It, it's cold out here. So I'm going to take them a pitcher of coffee, a little something to get them going this morning. And uh, then we're going to head up on the mountain. So hope you guys enjoy the ride. We'll be back in a few minutes. <clears throat> they just put this in over here. I don't know if they're going to make Airbnbs or what they're going to do right here. But it looks like they're going to have more than one location there. Must go back in through there. We're in Whitaker Hollow right now. Like I said, we're going to go down here and take these guys a little bit of something to help get them motivated to face the day. So, hopefully they are, well, hopefully they're not down here, honestly. Hopefully they got to go somewhere and stay in the warm. But, if they are down here, we'll maybe brighten their day up a little bit. Caleb's Cove Campground right here in Whitaker Hall. It's a beautiful day out here, but boy, is it cold. Shoo. Cold, cold, cold. But yeah, that sun's out feels good in the car feels good all right we're down here guys as you can see they've cleaned up well i didn't show much the other day but anyway they've cleaned this area up thinking they were getting out of here but we're going to take them what we've got for them i'm not going to put them on camera when they feel comfortable being on camera we'll put them on camera but anyway let's get them some stuff down here Well, they were home. <laughs> if you want to call that home, they were there. Let's put it that way. They were there. We gave them a little bit of stuff, helped get them through the day. And we'll come back. We'll help them as much as we can. Shut up, car. Yeah, like I said, we'll help them as much as we can. Uh, any donations of any sort that show up out at my shop or in a roundabout way. We'll try to get to them and help them get back on their feet. Uh, they, Like I said, they were supposed to get a camper yesterday. That's why they cleaned the whole area up there. And uh, that fell through. So now they're saying Monday for the camper. But we'll keep an eye on them. And, and I just hate that they have to be out here in this freezing cold. He did have the tent insulated up pretty good there uh, from what I've seen inside. Uh, which I didn't see much inside. I don't go poking my nose in other people's stuff. But it looked like he had it insulated up pretty good. And they said they were staying warm. I asked them if they were freezing. And they said, no, not too bad. So they do have the two poachers in there. So that's a little bit more body heat. You know, I'm sure when it's this cold, you cuddle up to the pooch real quick. But anyway, let's hope these guys can get out of out of the woods here soon. Down here at the boat ramp here in Whitaker Hollow. And I did have this in a video the other day, but I just figured I'd show this, being that this is gonna be a kind of a Helene update video. You can see our new piece of land here. Donkey Lodge coming up on the left. You've seen it a million times. Go. 
guys, I just saw some. Ah, I was going to try to sneak up on him, poopy. <laughs> He is a pretty good sized fella. He just went up there and landed. Pretty awesome. Well, we got to see one awesome thing already today. The day has not even started. We are here on Del Mar, pulling up to Creeper Trail. Trestle 15 still closed up there. So if you happen to be out this way, I don't see any detour signs or anything telling you to go up on the road. I guess you can see it from here and, and realize you're going to have to go up on the road. But yeah, there's no sign directing you that way. But if you come out here, you definitely want to go on the road because if you cut down the side, you got to go through a creek and then back up a hill. So not really worth it. Here in Damascus, guys, here on the bridge, Cowboys is up here. If you remember, there's a lot of stuff piled in here, and this was a bit of a mess down here. I haven't walked down through there, but I think I'm gonna go over there and walk down through there, just real quick. If you wanna read that, pause the video right there. Check it out. They've done a lot of cleanup right here. It was a mess up under here and all down in through here. I have not came down here before. It looks like it piled a lot of debris in there, doesn't it? You know, as long as I've lived here, been through Damascus many times. I did not know this structure was even over here. <laughs> yeah, I had no clue this was even here, but it's obviously an old building. I don't know how much of the flood did this damage I'm sure it it did some damage obviously but Been a minute since we actually filmed this side over here, but boy, it looks a lot better than it did. Over there too, looks better. See, they got that camper that was backed into that tree over there. It's gone. Been trying to get that cleaned up. Still a mess, but looking better. All right, guys, we are right here behind Adventure Damascus. Okay, Creeper Trail's right here. We've been down here several times. The last time we were here, there were some massive piles of stuff that they had cleaned up, but they had not got the piles up. Well, as you can see, they've got the piles up now. This is what we're looking like down through here. I'm hoping these guys can rebuild out here. Time will tell. Let's go down here to the trestle and see if they've got anything done down along the creek since we were last here. Looks like we've got some new information here. Okay, that's no big deal. They've been doing some stuff over here. Doesn't look like they've touched the other side of the creek over there yet. What a mess. Wow guys, look over here. 
they have got that area cleaned out completely looks great good job guys still got a ton of work left over here yeah all right let's get back to the car so as I'm walking back I've got the same jacket on that I had on the other day when I was out here so Richard will appreciate this let me see if I can find it again here Check it out, guys. All right, you can see, guys, they got the trail blocked off here now. They've got another barrel up here that has a sign on it that says trail closed. I'll try to slow down here. You're not gonna be able to read it, but you'll see the barrel here. Yeah, it's got a sticker on it that says trail closed, so. We are here in Damascus. Uh, it doesn't look like I've done a whole lot right here since we've last been here. This is obviously where the mobile home park got washed down into these trees. AT is right there. Maybe we'll walk up there just a piece when we get done right here. I just wanted to show the progress over here. Like I said, we're trying to kind of do a week by week thing just to see it as it goes we can always go back and watch it again and see what happened in what order yeah as you can see they still have not done anything up here i think this guy up here is trying to uh see about getting some help to clean all this up i think what happened down here on the lower end and i am not sure about this at all but i would imagine what that is is the state came in and cleaned that up because that's actually part of the state right there that's not this guy's property so the state probably came down and cleaned up the edge of the creek and cleaned up anything over here that was actually considered to be state land that's my assumption Yeah, I'm just going to step up here around the corner, guys. I have no intentions of going anywhere up this trail. go right up here and that's it yeah i'm not gonna keep walking i'll end up walking to route 58 don't want to do that well looks like it goes around that way these trees mean nothing but i have not seen any trees down i haven't seen where they've had to be cut out of the way so that's just a little eighth of a mile i might have came up in here if that so enter at your own risk we are not gonna go up route 58 today we were just up there like two or three days ago um i put a video up that showed it this was a short week, so they didn't really get a lot done. They did get some done, but if you want to see it, you can go back and check. I think it was two videos ago. So, yeah, go check it out.
I'll tell you what guys that sun would trick you right into believing it's warm out there it even feels warm and then you step outside the vehicle Here, getting ready to turn on 421, guys. Yes, that is my bowl of oatmeal from this morning. We just cruising through Mountain City. I have seen a little bit of damage here and there. Several uh, bridges to people's driveways missing things of that nature you'll see the pile of debris over there they've had to dig out and it just keeps going look at it all over there that is unbelievable can't see very great over there but you can see the fence down there was all stopped up with stuff and you can see all the other stuff that it floated out into that field we're right here close to red tail mountain see all the debris in the trees over there yeah, Red Tail Mountain Golf Course. Obviously, we've been up here before, but we're trying to make it a little bit further today. I think that we had the opportunity to come down this way the other day, but we ended up not coming through here. So I'm just gonna take a quick little circle around this road right here, because uh, this area over here got flooded out pretty good. We'll see if... Uh, we see anything interesting. Still water piled in there. I don't know if that's from the flood or from the recent rain we had. Red Tail Mountain Golf Course. I did not see anything down that other road, but I think there's another cut right up here somewhere that we can possibly go down. Go try that see what we can see obviously this was all underwater down through here get out right here and get a little short video yeah water clearly came up through here messed a lot of stuff up look at these poor guys here you know they took on some water they've had to Tear the side of the house off way up here. Wow. Well, I'm just up the road a little bit further here, but yeah, you can see on the back of that house how far up they've had to peel everything off because it was wet. A lot of this stuff through here looks like it's ruined. And you can just see piles and piles of stuff. It looks like there's a ton of stuff up here. I didn't catch the name of this road when I came down through here, but I'll check it when I go back out. From up here, you can just see that every bit of this was underwater. Here's people's trash from multiple families, multiple different pieces of people's homes and buildings and cars and trailers and just, what a mess. You can see over there beside that metal building, They've got everything tore out of their house. There's piles of sheetrock in there, insulation, just basically everything. Could, everything that was in their house. too much more but they've obviously got a lot of work ahead of them but they have been getting a lot done yeah, you can see this 
this all over here clearly got hit. Those guys are missing their bridge going up. I saw a lot of devastation the past couple of miles. Not good. We're right here. This is Buttermilk Road. Uh, got this little creek goes up through here. I want to go up through here a little bit and see exactly how bad it was up through here. It looks like they've had to maybe redo their bridge there. The place right below this, there's another property down below this. It looks like it just got buried in mud. We've had to dig this creek out in so many spots. You can see they had to rebuild theirs right there. I'm sure there's more up through here just like that. You can see it brought a lot of debris in here on these guys. <laughs> Tore up a lot of stuff along the creek there. Look at that slide they had over there. Look how it ate that edge off down through there, guys. How long before this pond comes out now? Had to rebuild a huge section of this little road. Way up around that. This is Miller Lane, I guess. Hmm. Maybe we ride up through there a little bit. See until that part of their driveway had to be repaired as well. All the way up that corner. Look up here on the hill, guys. Two days after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in and get a little better picture. Zoomed in a little bit. There's a bunch of them coming down from that tree and then there's a whole bunch back in there. There's gotta be 50 or better. Well, this is where I stopped last week, so I figured I'd just stop in here and kind of make this a starting point, which obviously we've already done some stuff, but from this point forward today, I have not seen anything that we are about to see. That's where that slide was over there. know if it came down and went across the road or not it's like that one came down and basically stopped right there looks like this might have come across the road nothing major though don't look like i can't tell if that middle section there slid out or not it almost looks like it well no i guess it didn't slide any i thought the whole thing had slid and uh just kept the trees there in it but i don't think it did i think it just slid on either side of it time i've been this far guys obviously we are on the other side of the mountain here's your road signs you can see these guys clearly got hit right here very bad goes all down around the corner there I'll try to get over here and, and walk around the road and get a better shot down. 
literally filled this place in with a lot of mud and debris and whatnot. A lot of trash up around through here. We'll go up there. I think uh, first thing I'm gonna do is walk down here a little bit though. You can see they had a little bit of a slide over here on this hill. Look at some of the huge rocks that's washed up in their yard over there. They were clearly underwater. You can see how the uh, siding is a different color here. I guess they've yanked some off and put new on. Getting it done. Looks like maybe these guys here have, maybe they're here helping or something. This looks like new, like these guys have just got in here. Not sure, but very well could be. Bit of a muddy mess down through there. How this little bridge didn't get wiped out, I don't know. You can clearly see it was packed full of stuff and had water running over it. Got lucky. You see down through here, they've had to basically rebuild the creek or, you know, at least dig it out. Same thing up here. They've basically had to make the creek flow again. Painted Mountain Lane. Looks like that area down through there got pretty wet. Oh yeah, they definitely got soaked. Wow, see where they've got straw laid down through here. Try to get the grass growing back. Obviously all of that was messed up. How this stuff got here, I don't know. That obviously had to be brought, well, I don't know. There's a lot of debris scattered down through there. Somehow that creek got up and came through there. I mean, there's not much behind us. They did have a little slide right there. It probably came down and covered part of the road, but I don't know how this stuff got brought up there the bigger stuff obviously there was a flow through here brought all that stuff interesting I saw this from up on the main road up at 421 looks like they definitely got some water through here somebody steps over there I wonder if it washed somebody's place away I don't know this area at all you can see how it piled all that debris in that creek Wow, over here on the other side looks bad too. I'll get out right here and get a little shot. Lots of debris and stuff. You can also see down here, they've got piles of rock that they've had to dig out of the creek all up through here. And wouldn't you know it, more tires. It got hit pretty good right here. Looks like it filled this in. It washed the road away over here on the other side. I'll get a shot of that over there. Yeah, this has all been redone. The road itself doesn't look like it got washed off. It got undercut. Wow, been two months, guys, two months. Shut up. I 
this area here was covered in mud see on the other side is still it's been pushed up over there the section here got messed up pretty good you can see and clearly this whole place here was underwater you can see all the debris washed up in their front yard right there craziness Ooh, what a mess they had here goodness gracious Here. I bet this whole thing had stuff laying all over the place right here. It's just so low lying and flat. It's probably ponded up in a major way. Shoot all the tires again. I don't think I mentioned the road we were on, but here we are. I'm going to take a uh, go out the other way i'm not i'm sure there's probably some more stuff down through there but i'm gonna go the other way try to get to boone at some point today <laughs> sign back there said trucks to tennessee turn around local delivery only so we are going down towards elizabethan right now i don't know if you guys anyway look at all the debris that piled in the field over there here buddy yep bit of a mess down through here a bit of a mess wow that little storage place got completely flooded yeah. my goodness guys there it is a lot more damage out here that I did not know about. We're heading towards Elizabethan right now. Uh, we'll walk out here across this bridge and just see what we see. Still a mess right here. Still a lot of cleanup to do. Guess they're not really worried about it because the road's still here. They'll eventually get to it, but they uh, have a lot to do already. I just decided to come down this little road here that runs along the creek. You can see they've had a lot of cleanup to do down through here. And you can also see, uh, I am not gonna get out there anywhere near that you can see this is going soon there's no stopping it what a mess down through there just up the road here a few hundred feet from where we were you can see that this clearly was all underwater wow what a mess Bryant Combs Road, this was. Now we're gonna get out here on Mast Gap Road, I guess. This is heading towards uh, Elizabeth, and I'm not gonna go very far down through here, but we'll go check out a little bit. You can see it got up in here, left everything wet. I don't know how well you can see the bottom of this building over here, but you can see where the water came up on it. It is a mess here, but I want to show you guys this pile of stuff on the other side of the road. I'm not exactly sure where this went. Maybe up here to these people's house. Yeah, I'm not gonna go over in there, but you can see it has diverted the creek. The creek should be running over in there obviously it's up in here now and we don't have a whole lot of water right now so i don't know if they'll divert it back and keep it over there or what they'll do but you can clearly see there's a bunch of junk in there
Well, I said I wasn't gonna go up any further, but clearly I lied. Just wanted to come and see how bad it had hit down here. I don't know if those guys had to repair their bridge across or not, but yeah, it's a bit of a mess up through here. I mean, I could probably make a whole nother video just going down Elizabethan, but I'm determined to get to Boone today. So I'm gonna turn around right here. This is another little area here that got washed out pretty good. I'm not sure the name of this road right here. I didn't look, but this says Linville Creek, Linville Creek Crossing on that sign there. <clears throat> Linville Creek, she was. Yeah, it's bad all up through here, guys. A lot of stuff got. and stuff piled up on both sides of the road of course the creek you know switches back and forth but, wow those guys lost their bridge those guys lost their bridge looks like they got one there stuff piled all in these ditch lines down through here both sides of the road Figured we'd take a little journey down in this Greer Lane here. Uh, see how bad some of this stuff is down through here. flow once it hit that water yeah that's a major slide I want you to look at this craziness guys that came through here and brought every bit of rock that it had in it down through here look how much it buried that truck back there with just rock and debris i want you to look at the front of this truck right here that is crazy and then look what it did over here Amazing that this thing is still hanging on right here. Yeah, that thing came across the road right here and just took everything off of this edge. We basically made a loop, but I want you to look at all the rock and stuff up through here on both sides of the road. You can see these little drainage ditches like that blew out. Man, what a mess. Well, guys, we made it to Boone. I want you to look at this. We're pretty much right here in, in town. You know, we haven't quite made it to town town. But I want you to look at how all this stuff came, you know, where did it come from? I, I have no clue. But you can see it clearly came through here and brought all this stuff in. I guess it probably came out of this ditch over here. But this is something else. I noticed this garage up here had a bunch of stuff in the parking lot. Uh, must have came, you know, down from up there. Yeah, that's... Wish I could have been here to see that. Guess all this got flooded out over there. I'm 
you can see a lot of this was messed up down through here you can see where they've come and cleaned it up and tried to get the grass back growing looks like they've done a good job of course i didn't see it before but i would imagine there was a lot of sand and silt and small rock and well you can see right here is probably what a lot of it was But yep, they've been out here and got it cleaned up. Looking good. Just figured I'd come over here and check the creek out, seeing as how I was fairly close to it. Pretty good mess over there. It looks like this got up and ponded that whole area in over there. Looks like they've been having to dig all those places out. Holy cow. We might have to try to get over there. It looks pretty bad. Yeah, you can see that water came through here and messed a lot of stuff up. Over here is where we want to go, though. Let's go check it out. Look here, guys. You can see these. Well, I don't know how new some of that is, but you can see down through here, they've been having to put new underpinning on a lot of these mobile homes. You can see this area got very well soaked down over here. Okay, I will. Oh God, sorry, I wasn't looking. <laughs> what a mess through there, goodness gracious. Look over through there too. Guess that apartment building over there probably got drenched. Still here at that same little mobile home park. Here too. Good, it's great. Yeah, I understand it's not the most damage we've ever seen. However, it's just a lot of ruined stuff, you know. People lost a lot of stuff. Look at this place here, guys. Obviously, they've scraped up a lot of this mud out of here but surely they didn't pile it in there against the building like that. Filled this thing up. This is what happened in the creeks right here. Filled them up like this and then they had to come back and dig out. We go up this little road here a little ways. I saw a little bit of damage up through there. You can see these people had a good bit of stuff come through their yard barely did make it up the road here you can see looks like they had a pretty good slide over there it's a lot of a lot more stuff in the creek you can see all this stuff that came through here Still on this same little cut up through here. 421 right over there. Still here on 421. Another little spot right here that took on a good bit of water. We had to come through here and clean it all up getting it done got plenty of firewood over there we 
are right here on Abbey Lane. A bunch of stuff they've pulled out of the creek and whatnot. They making some wood chips. They had to put a new bridge in. Looks like their old one fell in. How that little building still over there, I don't know. That slide, guys. Clearly got up in there, soaked that place. I can't tell if that right there had to be redone or not. It looks like it did. Drainage ditch down through there got pretty bad looks like all this over through here got wet <laughs> made a bit of a mess right here didn't it look at all the rock up in behind our place Goodness My lord, <laughs> that's just beautiful spot right here. These guys have absolutely beautiful. As you can see, <laughs> it looks like we had a pretty good debris flow right here I'd like to go up through there and see where that thing started at but that is a lot of material to dig out of that creek it is a lot go over here on the other side and check it out yeah they've had to redo a lot of stuff right here somehow the road stayed but you can see they've had to rework this and looks like they took a lot out of the creek how much was in there i don't know but doesn't look very good going down through there does it same old thing lots of uh water getting up in these people's house it looks like wow yeah they definitely got wet man my goodness look at that pile of stuff they've had to get out of the creek guys Sure, it wasn't just in the creek. It's probably all around down through there. Look, they've had to rebuild their driveway over there. It looks like looks like the old one got washed out, so they made one that wraps around. Shoo! A lot of work right here. My goodness. I'm sure the homeowners are probably the only ones that are doing anything. They probably got help friends maybe hopefully but yeah that's a lot of work for any homeowner to have to do you didn't quit telling me what to do i'm gonna do it what a mess good We're here at this little church. As you can see, these guys lost their bridge here. It is a mess right here. I'm sure those guys over there probably got wet. Church probably got wet. Definitely messed this stuff here up. I would like to have this little truck right here if anybody wants to sell it.
Mabel Baptist Church. Yeah, they took some damage down through here. Very much so not pretty. I just came up from the church. The church is right there, but just wanted to get a shot from right here. stuff in the creek. Look at the rocket piled in there, guys. I think this is where a lot of it started. Came roaring down through here, bringing all this stuff with it. Come across the road here. Joined in with what was already coming down the creek. Yeah. Little beady slide right there. Another little slide right there. Look at this slide they had, guys. That was a good one right there. These guys clearly had to rebuild their driveway right here. Looks like their bridge stayed somehow. <laughs> what a mess down through there. Lots of rock and mud and stuff in there just like everywhere else. pretty close to trade right now guys uh, this may be considered trade right here I'm not 100% sure but it is a mess up through here look at all that rock goodness gracious dug out right here unbelievable unbelievable and it comes back over there still big old rocky piled up mess got somebody behind me we gotta get on up the road we're up here pretty close to trade i mean this may be trade we may be in trade right now but uh another little section here that uh got rocked up and watered up and washed out it's about the norm Look at their little driveway area over there. It's all messed up. Don't know if I showed that or not, but you can see that little place surely got messed up. We are in trade, Tennessee. I'm gonna ride up through here just a little bit. Don't know if I've rode up through here or not. Or not yet but uh, about typical you can see where they've had to dig the creek back holy that was something else they took some water
build that one. Somehow these guys' driveway stayed. Obviously they had to do some repair on it here, but Wow, I didn't know exactly what this was, but I guess this is their driveway. Look at the, some of the huge rocks in here got pulled down. How that truck got there and where it came from, I have no clue, but. Like to have that truck when it was new. Look at that beautiful mountain top up there. And it's cold. Another little spot where they've had to rebuild this whole area right here. I don't know if they had a bridge that went across or what, but as you can see, this is all new culvert, new everything. We saw this when we came up through here, but my goodness, what a mess it has left right here. But I want to get this. That is something else. Mess down through there. Let me show you a quick little bit right here. You can see what happened came up come around the building I'd imagine that building is not in good shape down in there I don't want to walk down in there in the parking lot but you can see it's a, a lot of mud in there obviously a lot of damage yeah not good just gonna do a quick little run through here guys um, see exactly what all we've got obviously it's a mess but we're here in trade still I think this is where we're gonna end the video for today look at these people's yard my goodness yeah this is where we're going to end the video for today uh, just wanted to get up here and check some things out on the other side of the mountain. We got to see a good deal today. A lot of stuff. Um, not any really good stuff. We have seen that they've made some progress in several areas, but uh, still got a lot of cleanup to do. You can see here more rock and dirt and mud and stuff piled in here. But anyway, just want to say thanks a lot for watching these videos, guys. I really appreciate each and every last one of you. One of these days, maybe this is what we'll be doing for a living. Wouldn't that be great? Look at that mess. Let's get out here and look at this. This obviously had to be part of a debris flow. I mean, it's just no way around it. So question is what happened right here did the water come through and eat it back out that's what it looks like to me so yeah this is the end of the video for today guys uh, there will surely be something after this like I usually do maybe I'll see something else as we go down the mountain but uh I appreciate all you guys giving me information on where to go, what to check out. Uh, obviously, I haven't seen it all. There's a lot more to see, and I want to see it all. But uh, if any of you guys have any idea on where else we could go to look, just let me know. We will go check it out. Once again, thanks for watching the videos, guys. 
We'll be back next Saturday, if not before then. Love y'all. shoved everything up over there there's a boat in there a little kayak of some sort look at the fence right there packed full of stuff Pretty area down here till the flood comes through. There's a private property over here, so I don't want to go that way, but I'm going to go up here and check out this little road behind here. Looks like they had to rebuild a lot of it. I'll go look at it. Yeah, that whole little section there had to be redone. Stop right here, okay.